Vlogmas day two. All right, we've been watching the holiday and we're getting ready for breakfast, but I realized I need to do my advent calendars. <laughs> so first up, we have anthropology. So kind. Okay, let me find number two. I'm so excited, these have been very lovely. Ooh, I love this brand, Toka Eau de Parfum. Ooh. This is the Stella. Nice size, too. No, they really just do the best. Really perfect for traveling. Like, look how Ooh. gorgeous. Let me smell. Mmm. It's like, I don't know, floral. I don't really know. Oh, I love the bottle. It's very pretty. Now we're gonna do L'Occitane. Oh, wow. I, I know, look, it like opens, I know. I didn't even see that in the store. Number two. Oh, I love L'Occitane so much. Ooh, I love this stuff. Their body milk, so great for nice. travel as well. Day two. One more. Are Three you people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I remember giving you one when you were little. I love advent calendars. They're so fun. So Three many brands people. do them now. All right. What do they give? I don't know. Oh my God, are these earrings? Wow. Oh my gosh, they're perfect for gals on the go. They're pink. Oh. Wait, I love these actually. They're like a statement earring, I think, yeah. That's so pretty. Thank you, free people. Wait, nice. I'm obsessed. Because I was thinking I want like a statement pink earring for gals on the go stuff, and I'd say these are statement pink. Yes. All right, I'm going to shower, and we're going to go to brunch. <laughs> Getting dressed for breakfast, and it's game day, you guys. It is the SEC Championship. Georgia is playing Alabama, so I'm wearing some Georgia socks for good luck. I just got these sneakers. I'm so excited. I've been wanting these for so long, and I kept almost buying them, and I finally did it. Um, they're New Balance 990s, I believe. These are, like, version 5 or 6. There's, like, a ton of versions. It's, like, V... Yeah, this is V6, I believe. Um... And these fit my foot inserts, so I was gonna wear Uggs because I think it'd be cuter with the outfit, but I might do a little walking, and my knees just don't love when I don't have arch support for a long period of time. Pick our perfume of the day. I think commodity milk. All right, here is my outfit. I forgot if I said, but we're going to Jeffrey's Grocery in West Village. I've been wanting to go, but it's a lot of seafood. I don't eat seafood, but brunch, they have normal brunch things. So it's perfect. It's in a great area in West Village. It's my outfit. I'm wearing a Uniqlo Heat Tech long sleeve. This pullover is from Revolve. I love it. It's like a teddy bear vibe. Uggs would definitely be cuter, but I just want to be comfortable. Um, so I'm wearing my new New Balances, split 59 leggings. No makeup. We're going crazy because I have to put it on later. And Aunt Debbie. Woo! You look cute. <laughs> crowded on the weekends honestly I think you need to go there on like weeknights yes. there are so many people but it was cute so I actually bought something at the holiday market which I don't think I ever have before I always walk around but I never buy anything and this time I got something from this company fifth and Madison I think they also have a little market at Columbus Circle and at Bryant Park if you're going to either of those winter villages or holiday markets this one, I was just very drawn to. Well, one, it's red. I mean, it's gonna look stunning on my coffee table when that one's done. But um, it's Fraser fir, which I love, but also sandalwood, which I love to burn sandalwood throughout the year. So this one, I'm like, you guys can smell it. So this one's a nice little mix. So I'm not gonna burn it yet, but we're gonna save it. And then when the Vespa one is done, 
we'll work in this one and then that'll probably get me through the holiday season. My aunt just left, she's off to the train station and um, we had the best time. It was so fun having her here. She brought me this chocolate like cake and I was like, wait, let me have a piece. Jeffrey's Groceries was so cute. It was in a great little spot too. If you like seafood or like whatever that Old Bay seasoning stuff is, they have a lot of stuff like that. Um, and it's like kind of nautical themed. Like the end piece is never as good, but like I just want like a little taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. So I made one Black Friday purchase this year. <laughs> or like a few, actually no. A few other like little gifts for people, but the one Black Friday purchase I made for myself was this. <laughs> this is the Amazon Echo Show, which you guys know is the thing that I always have over here. I always get questions like, what's that little iPad thing you have? This is it. It's the Echo Show. I love it so much. It's my speaker. It's my weather. It's really everything. But my friend Clara Purse just moved to Charleston and she was doing like, she's been doing a ton of like home content. And I was like, what is that thing in your kitchen? And she was like, it's an echo show. I was like, since when did they come out with a frame? It literally looks like a frame, but it's the same thing. She said the speaker's good. Um, so I bought one for myself because I'm obsessed. I am like an Alexa stan. Like I use it all the time. And I've had this one for like three or four years now. So I was thinking, I kind of want to keep that one there, but I might have to move it somewhere else in my apartment because these be, would be really close to each other. But if I hang it up over here and then when I'm cooking, I believe it's touch screen. So you can swipe through, you can watch like Netflix on it, like in the kitchen. I just think it's so cool. It says the kitchen TV reimagined. Um, oh, and there's a remote included. I wonder if you can touch it. I thought you could touch it. But I just think this is the coolest thing since sliced bread. And I want to do a little unboxing, kind of set it up. Oh my god, it's so cute! And I bet I could like put like a pretty screensaver on it or something when it's not on. Oh. This is so cool. It's not too big, which I like. I did buy a swivel stand for it. And you could also, you could hang it up like this. I've seen someone put this in their bathroom. It was epic. Or you could do it like this. Um, so I, I have to decide that, I suppose. But I bought a swivel as well if I want to put it on a stand for now and then decide if I want to hang it up. Then it literally comes with like a Fire TV remote. I hope it's touchscreen too. I thought it was. And then I think this is the mount. So battery for the remote. Um, but yeah, I'm just a huge fan. You do have to have somewhere to plug it in, of course, and then it comes with, I guess, the the screws and all that. Um, oh, that's nice, too. It comes with a mounting template, which is always really helpful. Like, my TV had this, too, so you know exactly where to put it and everything. That's always much appreciated with stuff like this. I think for now, I'm going to put it on a swivel, on a stand, and then I'll decide later if I want to hang it up, but let's do this. I do believe I was supposed to <laughs> plug it in before I screwed this on. It's okay, we're learning. You can't always do it perfect the first time. Like, why would that be a thing? Seeing this on the stand, it looks so cool. And I'm kind of thinking to put this one in my bathroom so I can jam out when I shower. So I always just like play music on my phone in the shower, but this changed the game. It's gonna be a total smart home. I've got Alexis at every corner. Here's the plug. That is crazy that you have to do that, but whatever works, Amazon. Okay, we're back in business. Oh my gosh, the swivel thing's amazing. I can move it this way or this way. All right, English. Hello. Ready for setup. Hello. Would you like to turn on vision accessibility features? 
This is so cool. So I can upload photos so it's like a frame, which could be cute. But for now, maybe I'll do... Let's, ooh, art. Art could be nice. What's seasonal? So it would be like winter stuff right now? I mean, I can really actually do this. This is crazy. Like, what? To have YouTube right here would be... I mean, my TV's literally right there. But this is so cool. We love YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube TV. I'll do that for now. Well, I also have HBO Max while we're at it. And Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, I have to pair my remote. <gasps> Your newest tech influencer. I'm like, unboxing. <laughs> I just added the weather widget. I don't know what other widgets I have mm -hmm. here. But they have other widgets. Like, let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, ambient visions. Ooh, I could do a fireplace, yes. Love that. Oh, okay, we already have it. Fart button, okay, don't need that. Christmas countdown, obviously. Gotta do that. So where does the remote come into play? Like, oh my God, it's literally Amazon TV. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, can I like go, like I was watching the holiday, can I resume it here? I'm not gonna update it, I'm lazy. Okay, it's making me update it. <laughs> okay, about to start getting ready to drink. <laughs> so I'm going to have what I always have, which is an element. I need this in my veins, gotta hydrate up. My favorite flavor is citrus salt, but you already knew that. I'm getting like, Nervous for this game like Bama Isn't a joke. I mean we have won the national championship the last two years, but Georgia sometimes, you know gets a little nervous if we do go to the national championship again Ryan wants to go because we've gone the last two years and he's like I feel like we have to like the dogs need us I'm like, oh my god, you are so funny Like I am not kidding when we lost to Bama two years ago at the SEC championship Which we ended up beating them in the national championship that same year just saying um Ryan, it was actually in my vlogmas, if you guys remember that vlog, Ryan was so upset, he was like, I could have done more. I'm like, you're not on the team, like, do any of your boyfriends, brothers, dads, cousins get like that, or friends, because it is so funny, like, I think I'm a big Georgia fan, no, you think, you think I'm a big Georgia fan, no, you haven't met Ryan then, it's hysterical. When he walked up to brunch this morning... In the Santa hat, I like forgot for a second that he does that. Like starting December first, he wears a Santa hat every day, and then of course today he had on his Georgia Santa hat. Also, I just switched my earrings, Georgia logo, and then this is um, like a red moment. So they're actually both from Kyle Cabin. Ew, my dark spots are out of this out of this world today. I don't know why. I also think I'm gonna get a chemical peel. I'm getting like a really, it's like seven percent or something, really minimal one. Um, my friend Michelle, who does my lash lift intense, I was talking to her about it because, like, I'm just feeling like my skin needs, like, a... So we're going to do this, but it doesn't, like, this one that we're doing, it's, like, a starter one, so my skin will flake a little bit, but after two days, I think, I can put on makeup, whereas, like, some others, you have to wait seven to ten days and you peel a lot. I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys think, but apparently my skin's going to look fab after, especially after you do, after you do two. Ugh, tastes so good. I started figuring out what I'm gonna wear. We're going to Gramercy Ale House, which apparently is like another Georgia bar. American Whiskey is the one I know, but it's just been so crowded the last few times I've gone. Um, so I have this varsity jacket that I think I literally got on eBay my senior year. I love it because it's like warm, but it's like cute. And then I think I'm just gonna wear a black tank. I have this one from Uniqlo or this one that's like cropped. So it kind of depends on the vibe I wanna do. And then... I've worn these for the last three SEC championships, or the last two, so I feel like I need to keep up with that. So this is the new Kyle Cabin one. It's like the big arch. This is like a monument, if you will, at our school. So I'm going to layer it, I think, with this one maybe. I know it's insane, but you got to we're, we're here for the good luck. And then I'll keep my Georgia socks on too. And then I'll probably just do my a gold day and. Maybe I'll do my other ones, my uh, my good American ones. Are these them? Yeah, I think so. 
Let me go to American Jeans. Just chill girl outfit. Oh, and then <laughs> chill girl. I'm totally not chill. I'm the opposite of chill. Into the salon we go. I'm thinking these shoes. Because they already got a little dirty, unfortunately. But I think that'll tie in. You guys know how I feel about outfit sandwiching. So that's cute. I also forgot I have this Tampa Bay Bucks jacket and tomorrow the Bucks play. So maybe I'll wear that tomorrow. Just a football girly. Okay, final touch. Tarte Maracuja. This is the ruby shimmer glass. I thought it was good with like my red and black today. I really like this shimmer collection. Perfect. Makeup is done. Hair, I did a half a pep down, slick back, tied a red ribbon around the top. And then I decided to go with this tank from Uniqlo. It actually has a built-in bra. Double arches, Georgia Varsity necklace, or Georgia Varsity jacket. Jeans are from Good American. And then the Adidas Gazelles, or whatever these are. They're like the platform ones, because I pretty much exclusively wear platform sneakers. If they're not like running walking sneakers, I want platform sneakers, so. And then, yeah, so all this is Kyle Cabin. I'm like nervous. Oh wait, I need a bag. Eh, I'll just use the bag that I've been using from Zara. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this bag, it's easy. I think this is an adorable game day outfit. If I had Grey Goose right now, I would be taking a shot. But I don't, so we'll take a shot at the bar. I'm so excited, we'll see how much vlogging I get done in the bar. Delaney's meeting up with me, my friend Danny. She also has a YouTube channel, Danny Jordan. I heard she's coming and she's gonna be an honorary Georgia fan today. Um, I'll give you guys another little look in the mirror. Ooh, highlights on fleek today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder, I look like a cheerleader that just got off practice, but then also like just a gal, I don't know. This is super low rise today, huh? Hopefully I'm warm enough. Should I test? Oh yeah, I'm totally warm enough. We're good. Gotta take a good mirror pick for the game day. I don't even know if I told you guys when I was, oh, you can't even see me, but when I was in Athens a couple weeks ago, this girl, I posted a game day photo on my story, and this girl in Athens was literally, she recreated it from head to toe. Like, it was like a black and white tank from Reformation, jeans like this, and the same shoes. And she literally recreated the outfit and made my life. Um, okay. I really do. <laughs> I really do look like a cheerleader that just got off practice and put on her jacket, but then like I'm wearing baggy jeans, so it kind of doesn't make sense, but it's fine. Okay, I need to turn off some lights. Oh, I need to blow up my candle, fire safety. Does that do anything? I don't know. I'm gonna track Ryan because he's walking here. Oh, he's almost here. I'm gonna meet him downstairs, beat him up here, unless he wants to come up here, but I feel like he's gonna be like, I'm waiting in the lobby because he knows then I will actually come. Okay, this bow is just gonna be a little bit all over the place, but say a prayer for the dogs. Go dogs. And let's go dogs. So it's a tradition to listen to the song Baba O'Reilly before the game. Well, they play it at the stadium before the game starts. And I usually listen to it in the morning with Ryan, but he wasn't with me this morning. So I said I have a confession. I haven't listened to it yet. So he's playing it right now. Jingle bells, don't have good news. <laughs> we lost 
to Alabama. Something that has happened before. We haven't lost in, I think, 29 games. It just sucks. Any, I'm sorry to my Bama fans, but like, if it was any other team, I'd be like, good for them. But we've just lost to Alabama so many times that when we do, it just like, ugh, sucks. I really had so much hope. Ryan's in the other room. We just walked home in silence. <laughs> Literally 20 minutes of silence. I was just like. I have friends texting me like, are you okay? And like, is Ryan okay? And it's like, there's like the smallest chance ever that we could still go to the playoffs if like two different teams lose tonight. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh my God, this girl just DM me. She goes, another year, another Georgia choke. Like, that's so mean. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why I get so emotional. You know what? It's just because it's such a part of my life and it's, you know, we've gone to the National Championship the last two years and it's just been so fun with my friends and my relationship too. Like, it's Ryan a nice thing. We were fully going to go to Houston if we went. But we didn't play that well. So we were going to, like, go out tonight, but, like, the morale is not in that favor. So, um... Ryan, I was like, Ryan, let's just go home, order some food, watch these games tonight, and maybe something will happen. But, um, yeah. We walked in, because, like, when we left, my doorman, who I love so much, we were like, cheer on Georgia, like, keep Googling this, this uh, score on your phone, whatever, and he's like, let's go! And then we walked in, and I was like, oh, I don't want to have to tell Larry that we lost. <laughs> And we walked in, he goes, you don't even have to tell me, I know. I'm so sorry. He literally, like, had to pat, like, had to pat our backs and, like, but I won't end the vlog yet because I can't end it this way. So we're going to cozy up, order some food. I don't know what yet. Whatever Ryan wants, honestly. <laughs> you should see the other guy. <laughs> and uh, watch some football and look at my Christmas lights. <laughs> I've changed into a brown outfit. Pullover free people. I actually love this. And then these pants are from Set Active, actually. I think they're like their lounge pants. And some changing. Oh, we're charging the Theragun. Ryan was like, I need to massage my legs. It was leg like day. I'm like, okay. I need more water now. This is how you charge the Theragun. How you charge the Theragun. Ow. It's like a whole thing. Ryan ordered us ramen. Buy one, get one free. And this place is buy one, get one free. <laughs> But I'm like, I don't need that. It's from Caillou Ramen though. Looks good, I got just regular chicken ramen. What did you get, spicy? I got pork, yep. I love this, how you, when you get ramen from Uber Eats, you get like the noodles on top and then you put it in the broth. Mm. Then you get, I do chicken. You put it in and you mix it all together and it's delightful. One thing I do love about coming home is my Christmas tree. Okay. Fun fact, this is my, in my, uh, this is probably my number one favorite Christmas movie, at least in the top three. Deck the Halls, it's so good, and we're gonna watch it. We were watching football to see if like a team loses, but honestly it was getting depressing, so. How you doing? Well team, that's a wrap for Vlogmas Day 2. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.